Okay, many of you might have got the exciting news that there's now a phonics page. And how you get to that phonics page is you go to spell, and then you'll see a little phonics button pops up, and when you touch it, it now takes you to the phonics page. And it stays on that page, like it does in spell mode, but now you can do... So you see the benefit of it. Now, here's the problem. You have a vocabulary. When you do vocabulary choose, you these padlocked ones, this only happens after you update the app. Do these now have the phonics page in them? So all these padlocked ones will have the phonics page in them. And if you copied one of those, you would have the phonics page, but that's potentially or possibly or most likely not your child or adult's vocabulary. So I'm going to go to one that was done before the, the update. So when I go to one before the update, what would happen is when you go here, and that button won't exist. And you'd like to have that new feature, but you don't want to start all the way over. So what you're going to have to do is a couple steps. It's really not hard, but just hang with me. The first step is you have to copy the phonics page to this area, and then you have to tell it to show up at that location. So it's really two steps if you can keep that straight. So let's do the first step, and I guess the first step is update your app. So once you've updated your app, and then you go to your individual's vocabulary. So that's where I'm at now. I'll do vocabulary, choose new. I go to one, my ch individual, I always say child, but the individuals, a lot of adults use words for life. So now I go to my individual's vocabulary, and it's customized. I can see this red, so I can see this is my customized vocabulary. Yeah. So I want to add the phonics page to here. So when I go to spell, the phonics page doesn't exist. <clears throat> So here's how I make that happen. And again, I'm going to do it in two steps. First, I'm going to copy the page to this user area, and then I'm going to link it to that spot. So the first step is to hit Menu, then hit Edit Page, and then after you do that, hit Menu again. You may have never done this, but you're going to see a button now that pops up that says Import Copy Pages. You touch that one, and then you go to the one that says Import Another Page. And it says, what area do you want to copy that page from? Go ahead and go to the full. And the very first thing, it's kind of nice, 84 phonics is the very first thing that shows up. So you say, import that page. So after you touch it, put a little check mark by it, you now say, import. And you'll, your, yours won't already be there. Mine's already there because I've been practicing. So you'll say, import, and it'll start importing. It'll take a little bit of time to import that page. It's a little longer than normal because you have digit, you know, you have the speech and there's a little different. So it's a little bit of a memory hog. So now I've done it. So I'm done. I did the first step. I imported the page. But you'll notice that if you go there, you would be nice if it just did it for you automatically. But when you go here, it still doesn't exist. So now I have to tell it to pop up when I touch this button. So now what I do, oops, sorry about this. My finger was getting over the camera a little bit, or that was, but I am not want to do this twice. So now I'm going to hit Menu. Edit page, touch the spot where I want to put the phonics page, hit create a new button. I'm going to put the label there that says phonics. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select an image. As soon as I hit the magnifying glass, it'll find that phonics picture, which I think is appropriate. Now I'm going to scroll down. And right where it says speak message, just touch that because you don't want it speaking the message. Now normally we always go to visit because we visit pages to keep the motor plan the same. But this time you're actually going to go to navigate because you want it to navigate and stay there. So you say navigate and the very first thing says 84 phonics page. So you say navigate to the 84 phonics page. And then you say save. And that then you just say done. And now you're going to see, from now on, when you go to spell mode, you've got a phonics page. And then when you go back, you get back to the main page. I hope that helps.